Hey Bulldogs, it's Mrs. Mulder with Storytime. I'm really sorry I missed last week. Last Thursday, I guess I decided it was Friday and so I forgot to read and um, I don't know. So we're gonna do two this week, um, both of them I think for Halloween. I know it's red ribbon this week. I hope you guys are um, wearing your lays today. Today is Tuesday um, and making good decisions. So our book today is called The Monster Who Lost His Mean. So let's see, it is by Tiffany Strelitz Haber. Um, here we go. It's kind of a cute little monster. Here we go. Let's see, can we see that? All right, monsters are a spooky bunch, a scary hairy group. They run in packs, leave giant tracks, and dine on eyeball soup. M for mean, E for observant, N for noisy, S for super strong, and T, tough to please, E, envious, R, remarkable, a monsters, all of these. One day, a monster's M went missing, gone without a trace, and every M is custom made, the kind you can't replace. So now he'll just, he's just the onster, and the teasing never ends. Not only has he lost his mean, he's lost his monster friends. Aww. Boom, boom, crunch, crunch, the onster sits alone for lunch. Boo, hoo, sigh, sigh, the onster sad and starts to cry. I'm nothing since I've lost my mean, he sobs into his stew. I've got to find that M or else. It's bye bye, monster crew. The onster tears through all his sheets and peeks underneath his bed, explores around the playground, and picks apart his shed. He empties every garbage can and all of monster wood. He even checks the engine under every monster's hood. Nothing, not a, not a trace. He hangs his hairy head. Without my M, I'm not myself. I'm someone else instead. He can't be mean to human kids, so why not help with chores? Sweeping, heaping, lighthouse keeping, organizing drawers. He joins in all their soccer games and rules at basketball. He doesn't seem to miss that missing M so much at all. I'm having tons of fun, he laughs, returning from a swim but then he hears some other monsters making fun of him. The monster feels embarrassed. He sees their point of view. I really need to stop this stuff and do what monsters do. Maybe I'll pretend I'm mean. I bet it's not that hard. Perhaps I'll pull the flowers out of Mrs. Power's yard. He stares at all the roses at their stunning shade of red, but just can't bear to harm them. So he waters them instead. The monster thinks, I'll throw some eggs at Mr. Lander's van, but he winds up cooking brunch for the entire Lander clan. The way, I'm way too nice without my M. My monster days are through. I just don't fit in in monster wood. I'm not sure what to do. He sadly heads on home again with teardrops in his eyes. He swings his front door open and is greeted with surprise, monster. A party in his honor. The monster's eyes grew wide. His name and picture cover every empty space inside. I'm not a monster after all, the monster comprehends. I may have lost my M, but then I found amazing friends. You're the coolest monster in all the world. Boom, boom, pow, pow. The monster waves and takes a bow. Let's have three cheers. Hip, hip, hooray. He's happier in every way. So that was a cute one for, I guess, kind of Halloween. But I hope you guys are having a great week, Bulldogs. And don't forget to check out books. Take care.